Welcome back. So I'm sitting here thinking, and a couple of phrases have occurred to me. One's that old saying that you have to spend money to make money. And the other one is a newer saying that I came up with, which is, I want a new piece of equipment. So let's go to the store. Okay, so here we are at the store. So, we need to make a landing because, as we saw last time, there's not a lot of room back in there for the truck to get in and load well and to get turned around and get back out of our, our wood lot there. And it'd be nice to have a landing where we could cut trees down further in the forest drag them out to that spot so we have just one main loading area and so to that end I think I want to get a bulldozer so I know we have one in here this cat d7 and do I want to add a bunch of stuff to it I do but I don't want to spend any extra money on it oh we can get a winch for free so we'll take that what about, no, nope, we do want a blade. Don't need a rear hitch. Oh, we can get ROPS. There we go, some nice heavy duty rollover protection. That way if we drop a tree on it, it's not gonna bang off our head. Do, do, do. extinguisher and a chainsaw. We'll take both of those. We don't need GPS. And we can leave it nice caterpillar yellow. So 18500 for that. And of course with that we're going to need a blade. We'll just take a normal blade. We'll leave it yellow. The only two options are yellow or red. So we're going with yellow. We'll buy that one. And then we're going to need a way to get that to the woods. So if we go low loaders. Got this neck transport trailer for 8,000 which is uber cheap so we're gonna use that uh, we don't need a different function but I do want to put the extra tires on there because uh, bulldozers are heavy Got spread axle forward axle rear axle is that a lift axle or is it just off, off up off the ground Okay, no. We'll go like that. We go with the Nokian tires that'll help in the woods. We don't want a flat deck. We can get ramps, dovetail, or flat. Let's go with the ramps. That'll be easiest. We don't need to spend money on any of that. Goosenecks, what we want. What extras do you got? Side rail. Oh, that's all expensive. We don't need extras. The length should be fine. Don't care what color it is. What colors do they got? They got all the colors. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. We'll leave it this color. That's 11,100. Yep. We have that, so we're going to spend it. We'll make all this back in longs eventually. Eventually. Right? That was all the bits we need, right? Uh oh, where is all that stuff at? We're going to bring it here, wherever it is. Where'd you go? Back to the yard. Uh, yep. So we spent extra because I keep forgetting to reset that. Do, do, do. There's the blade. I gotta turn vehicles back on. There we go. Reset all that. Now it'll be here. This is where we need it. So let me go ahead and get this stuff set up. We can just leave this trailer here for now. We'll come back and get it when we need to load logs. But we'll get this hooked to the trailer, get that pulled around, get loaded up, and then we'll go, uh, go make ourselves a landing. We're not underneath that. 
There we go. That's a little better. Lock it right in. And then, uh, I guess I can leave this here. I want to get out of the way of this blade. But we'll spin right around in a circle. Bizarre for goosenecks. Okay. Just pull this like this. Put the... Oh, there you go. That's the button for it. Put that down. Make sure it's level. All right, let me turn this off. Let's go get our bulldozer set up. Look at how pretty it is. Oh yeah. Now that's a machine right there. I love the tracks here actually. Let's bring that down a little bit. And then bring down the forward speed. Because that's about the speed we're going to use it at. Okay. Let's drive this up in here as best we can. And hook up. There we go. And so obviously I have Terraform on here. So that's why we're actually getting the bulldozer. So we can legitimately legitimately go and make the thing work. And actually let me get Terraform set up right now while I'm thinking about it. We don't need to turn that on yet. That doesn't work, but we're going to do it anyway. There are so many... So many little bits and bobs on Terraform that don't work quite the way they should. But, hey, it's free mod, so what are you going to do, right? So it'll be discharging dirt. That'll be fine. I wish... If I turn down the discharge strength should not discharge as much stuff it just makes so much dirt but right here let's see if we can line this up and get it on the trailer oh that's gonna be much harder from this view we kind of you know see where we're at let's go like this oh we're fairly lined up there we go Center it up nice. This trailer can get extensions, but it was expensive. So we're not adding adding extensions to it. We're going to just fill the entire trailer. All right. Up the blade down. Pull forward just a little more. Yeah, there we go. That'll be good. Pop out. Then we can... Oh. Turn on the truck. Close this ramp. We can drop the front of the trailer down a little bit. There we go. Strap everything on and let's go. Hey, that was actually pretty good. It's pretty centered on there. All right, let's get this to the claim. And then uh, I'll meet you over there. Instead of trying to cross the river with this on the truck bed, we're going to leave it right here. We'll cross the river in the desert itself. That should be alright, right? Yeah. Oh, turn that back. That's the only tough thing about tracked vehicles in the game is they work like wheeled vehicles except you can't see which direction your wheels are pointing because you don't have wheels
but I don't, I, oh, I guess there's a couple of tractors that are tracked that are native to the game. I'm not really sure how they work, but that's still more like quad track type stuff, not dozer tracks like this. Oh, I guess the excavators are. Oh, here comes the train. We just missed it. Good to know. Do, 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 down through the water we go. Let's start right here. What we're going to do is if we turn this on, we change it to, I think, paint for this part. Actually, that's smooth. Uh, da -da -da -da. If we go smooth, we we'll start right here on the edge of the water. Oh. This might take a little messing with. Since we're on a hill. Thing does not love hills. But we're gonna kinda build a path right up through here. Yeah, we're making so much dirt. not to take off too much ground here. Right up in here. And I think we're going to go down just a little bit and then try to make a level area. Not quite all the way down in that hollow. Something like this level here. So, where are we going to put all this dirt? Can we get rid of it? I think it's supposed to get rid of some of it I just keep no it's just gonna push it around okay well I'm gonna try to level this out about here uh, it's not very level to begin with so it's gonna be tough but I'm gonna try to level this out I'll get working on this for a while I'll probably time lapse it because it's gonna take me a bunch of back and forth and then I'll get back with you
Okay. I think we're going to call that good for now. We'll park this right here. We have a few trees in the middle that we need to get rid of. Uh, actually, speaking of, let's sell this axe. If I can. I don't know if I can sell my axe. What's for sale? It's a good truck. We don't have any money, though. Can sell my axe. Yes. That way I stop accidentally picking the axe instead of the chainsaw. So let's drop these trees. I'm going to drop them here in the middle. And then uh, go get the truck. Get them loaded up. Drive back, get our trailer. Come back, load up these couple of trees. And see how our uh, how our landing does. I may end up widening this out. I want to see if I can get the truck to circle at this end. If I can, it should be fine. If not, we may have to fatten this end out a little bit more. But I'll go ahead and do this, and then I'll get back with you. new plan let's test the winch on this caterpillar and uh, see if we can make a pile of logs with it see how well it works this caterpillar should be nice and heavy so we should be able to drag I don't know if it'll drag more than one log at a time we'll have to see okay it is functional so that's good let's see how many it'll hook to well, at least two. Well, that's also good. The standard controls. It is. Get them all down here into a pile. And that'll uh, help make it easier to pick them up with the truck. Get most of them down here in a pile anyway. Toot, toot, toot. Yeah, so the caterpillar may work as our first uh, skitter. Basically, a cable skitter. It's just a caterpillar with a winch. Okay. But that'll help. Actually, once we get down here, I want to see how many that'll hook to. Oh, it's going to slam into them. Okay. That'll be good enough for there. But... Can we hook to four? Okay, so we can hook to at least four. That's barely rocking that. A lot of weight. Oh, we could probably pull this one up in between now. Get them all nicely stacked up so it's hard to grab with the claws. You know how it goes. See, can we get one that's way over here? No. No. Yep.
Well, that's alright. It's not like it's an actual skitter. Ooh, there it goes. Just get it close. Close enough. Get those other two. We'll just back up a little bit on this side. Actually, what I might do, ram these right into the wall. Be able to push them right with this. Yeah. Push them right off to the one side. And we'll push them over here too. This is not going to be a truck pull. So we might not even go sell them, but I do want to get that truck down in here. And I want to uh, see if we'll have room once we load these logs up to turn around in here. Let's get these over close ish. Just the same general space. There we go. Drag these logs over. What if we do one of those? I didn't give it enough room. Hold on. They're choked too tight for them to uh, flop around on each other. So if we go maybe there, and then yeah, it's a little better. There we go. A little slack to it. Should you go flip over, ish, maybe. Trying. All right, that'll work. We'll shove those into the pile. Hoping that's not too uh, too much of a ledge there for a loaded trailer to get back out. Hoping we don't bottom out on it. We'll find out though. And if so, we'll do a little more work to it. Okay. There we come on these side. Might not be the best tool for manipulating logs, but it certainly has the oomph to get the job done. It's way cheaper than an actual skitter. If we're going to use it just as a skitter, well, I guess we don't even really need to drop the blade. Let's say we can drop the blade off and just use it. Maybe if we're going to go in spots that the blade might be a little wide for. Not much wider than the bulldozer itself, but you know what it is. Okay. So I'm going to go grab our truck. I'm going to leave that trailer sitting just the other side of the tracks where it is now. I'll go grab our logging trailer. Bring that back here and load it up. And I'll talk to you when that's done. See you soon.
Yeah, I. It's a, it's pretty much perfect. Exact right size. Nice smooth open area. So now we can cut down trees from all over here. Drag them down here. Um. The other thing that might be good out here, which I don't know. It's probably in here, but it's probably super expensive. Oh, right back here. So maybe it's in this one. It's, uh, the yarders. Where are the yarders at? There's a yarder. Uh, uphill yarding. Uphill and downhill. This would be 95,000. Yeah, okay. So we're going to have to make quite a bit of money before we can even afford this. But what this is, is a basically a winch setup that you have a guy line that runs up and down the hill. And then you can cut down a whole bunch of trees. Like we could secure it down here and secure it up there at the top of the hill cut down a whole path of trees and then we hook them to that and drag them all down here into the yard but we'll have to do it more one at a time there's not enough as much spruce in here as i would like there's a lot of that knotty pine which i don't think gets us as much money what are these other trees okay so there's some Immature spruce. Oh, I guess that is full spruce. 35 and a half. There is a little bit. How far does our land go? Where are we? Where are we? We're down here. Oh, yeah. So it goes a good bit. It goes probably up to that ridge line. And then way down here. So, yeah, there's a bit more spruce on here than I thought may have to make a couple of uh paths out here maybe one right down by the river and we can drop trees drag them down to the path and then drag them to the yard that sort of thing especially since we don't have a good skitter with big balloon tires on it or anything we just have our dozer but this turned out all right i think let me know what you think uh that's where we're gonna end it today Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Um, and I will see you next time when we get more into doing some of this logging. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!